Yes, for some of those who are thinking, if I said that right, <laughs> I didn't forget about Moshe Tensai. I was just waiting for the right moment to do a chapter review on it, and today just happens to be that day. It's raining outside, so I can't go outside and exercise. So, might as well do this on a Tuesday. Now, I'm going to split this up into four parts. Believe it or not, this is actually probably the most interesting chapter we had in a long time since when it came back from hiatus, in a way. Probably the most interesting, and here's why. We'll start off with the very first part of this chapter. The talk of Bandi Gandhi, a demon lord. Now, with Bandi Gandhi, we know so little about him. If you were just reading from the manga, it doesn't really talk much about him. But if you read the light novels or the web novels, you'll learn a little bit more about him and his origins and what importance he really has to the entire world as a whole. With that being said, he received a letter where he turns out he was looking for Rudius. Why is he looking for Rudius? What is the point of him doing this? Believe it or not, it's very, very important. However, I'm not going to spoil it. The question is, is who asked him to go look for him? What was the point? I think I'm already saying what I'm trying to repeat myself, but in a different way. It's trying to lead on. Web novel readers should know what I'm talking about. Why? He was just told just to meet Rudius. The question is, is why? And by who? But we'll find out sooner or later. <laughs> I'm going to keep it hush-hush. But I think that's one of the most, one of the important parts. The second part, the next important part will be in phase three of this chapter. But let's talk about phase two. Phase two is pretty much Rudius and um, Zenova coming back from eating and now they're on their way to class until they find Cliff. Now from last chapter, Cliff was barely even in the chapter and he got so much hate. And then I was like, man, why y'all hate on this character for? I swear, I just hate on people just for sake of hating on people. He didn't do anything yet. But anyways... Yes, he was grew up a kind of spoiled in a way, but he can't help that, you know. I like it when you see a rich spoiled character come down and become more of a well known, broken down character because he understands more of the harshness of reality. But we're gonna start from here. Like I said before, don't count my boy Cliff out, okay? I'm not gonna say why, but he is probably one of the best allies Rudy is gonna ever ever have for how what a good friend he will become in the future. That's all I'm going to say. Like I said, I'm not going to spoil anything for those who are just reading the manga or you're reading the light novels as they come out because, you know, anyways, he is in love with the most, this is probably the most ironic love situation I've ever seen. You've seen a boy who's, who's a believer of Millis. And the Millis religion is like the religion of Christianity here. They're very strict, one love, um, and all that good stuff. But then you have someone like um, Ellen, Ellen Elise, and Elise, <laughs> can't say her name, <laughs> Ellen, Elenise. Yes, I think that's her name, Elenise. Elenise is the complete opposite of what Cliff's religion represents. But nonetheless, Apparently, for the male religion, you're allowed to love anyone as long as you love that one person with all of your heart. That is part of the male religion, and he fell in love with her. However, she does do some things that are terrible. Well, not terrible because she can't help it, but she has her. She's the town tart, okay. And because of that, everyone's like, "Yo, dude." They're just doing what's natural, you know? They're like, yeah, I'm going to hit up Ellen Nisa today. Oh, you too? Oh, sweet. Me too, man. And he's hearing that and he's offended, so he's trying to defend her honor, even though the rumors are true. So you have a very innocent boy. And I love how the fact how Rudius thought that he was that guy to fall in love with him. But then again, he's just misunderstanding shit. Because think about it. He had, um, you know, of course he don't know that um, Fitz is selfie. He doesn't know that, but still, he thinks he's getting tracked in selfie. But then at the same time, he had the thing with Cliff. So he's like, oh, no, man, sorry, I'll just have to turn him down lightly. I'll accept your friendship. 
<laughs> no, man, he ain't interested in you. He's interested in that girl who's just enjoying that lollipop on the window up there. <laughs> so I swear, people were on the scene like, dang, that author, the, the writer was, the manga cut must have had a good time drawing the scene. <laughs> like, fuck. But anyways, so before he goes on to decide what he should do, should he introduce Cliff to Alanise, he goes to Fitz. And there they do a little research on the teleportation incident or the great mana calamity. And it was teleportation magic. And it was always there. It was that, it was that tiny... I didn't like how in the manga they didn't show the significance of the tiny little stone, whatever it was, that was in the sky. If you read the light novels... In web novels, you see Eris's grandfather praying to it. You see Cl- um, Rudy is going up there too one time. They're asking, what is it? And they don't know. They just know that it appeared 10 so or so years ago, around the same time Ruiz was born. And then by the time Ruiz hits his 10th birthday afterwards, it's when the thing activated and it caused the Great Mono Calamity, causing everything to teleport off different directions. And it has something to do with probably summoning magic, in a way. In order to summon something somewhere else, it requires a great amount of magic. Uh, a great source of mana. And it just sucked the entire mana and everything else in that area right off the ground and teleported to other places. So someone was summoned. So Ruiz is thinking, could that have something to do with him? Could he be at fault for this? Because he too is from another world. However, I don't think so, because he wasn't summoned there. He was reincarnated. You know, there's a difference between being summoned and reincarnated to another world, in a way. So there's that. Now, when it comes to la, 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 the fourth and final part, he introduced Elanise to Cliff, and how Elanise is very skeptical about it. She's like, are you sure? You know, you know what kind of woman I am. There's no way he could be interested in me like this, you know. He's Cliffy, you see him, you know, he from everyone has his first point of view on him where he's just this spoiled, bratty, salty kid who's gonna be one of the best friends in a MC's harem, but instead he's this actually kind of innocent, sweet person who's very ignorant of the world compared to Elanise, who knows everything about the world because her age is unknown. She herself probably doesn't remember how old she is and stuff. And she's been around a lot of men. In fact, there's a scene that they didn't show in the manga, which of course is a scene where Brutus is doing his reputation as Quagmire. And when he was talking through Elanise through a window. And if you if you remember some, if you read the web novels, you know what I'm talking about, about that scene through the window. <laughs> I was surprised they still kept in the scene well, Roxy walked in on her with five guys. Like, dang. <laughs> dang. So, who knows? They might keep that scene too in, in the light novels. We'll just have to wait and see when we read volume, what, eight? When volume eight comes out, we'll have to wait and see. Well, anyways, I'm thinking wasting time here. Anyways, she will decide whether or not she will slam down gently, or will she accept them? You'd be surprised, you know, you'd be, you'd be great. These two are great, mighty opposites. And you seeing them together will be pretty interesting. You know, you know, man, I'm just saying. Y'all guys don't keep my boy Cliff down, okay? He's a, he's a good character. You just got to get to know him, in a way, you know. You got to understand Cliff, okay? He's sweet and innocent, but he's spoiled, so therefore he will act that front. But deep down on it, he's probably a... Honest, a good guy. For friends, he's defending a girl who does do the, what the rumors say, even though if he is aware of that or not. So Cliff is a good guy. Give him a chance, okay? And that's why I'm in it. And for those who are asking, no, I know nothing about the release date for the anime. Okay? I can't stress this enough. I'm sorry, but no information has been released. We, Shaman King has a release date. Um, we Cross at least has a re- release date, and other anime that have been declared have a release date. Everything has a release date, but freaking 
this series. All we have is a as an anime poster and one very good PV teaser. And that is it. No more concept art, no theme songs, no music performance, no directors, no voice casts, no who's gonna play the ending and outro. None of that. We got none of that. I'm like, why don't we have any of that? Series ain't gonna be out till next year have their stuff already, but we don't. They're teasing us. They're keeping of all the anime that are being revealed. This one's being kept under locks so tight. Like, Jesus Christ. But we'll see. We'll see. They can't they can't this, this year's almost over with man. This is halfway through. You, you, you have fall and winter left. I'm really hoping for a summer release. But with all the anime being pushed on the summer, like ReZero and stuff, it might be it might be overshadowed by ReZero. So fall or winter, probably winter, is probably the best time for it to come out. I don't know anymore, man. <laughs> I don't know. I'm scared. Will it even come out this year? Who knows? But then again, there hasn't been no postponed date or anything about it. Because they were released at or something, but they didn't. So we'll just have to wait and see. All I know is that Volume 23 has been released. So they have one more volume left. So probably when this anime even does finish, volume, the entire series will be finished. The main series will be finished by the time the anime is finished. That's my prediction. They already have Volume 23 being released this summer. And then you know what happens after Volume 23. At the Infamous 24. And you all know what happens in 24 if you read the web novels. Anyone who has read Volume 24, say you only need to read it once. And you don't need to read it again. Not because it's terrible. Because their heart just couldn't take it. They couldn't take it. After they read it once, they, they said, I mean, I've talked to other people, they said they read it. They read the, the web novel so many times, again and again, and so have I. But we all came to an agreement that we don't need to read Volume 24. It's just a, it's just an agreement among the emotional content of that community. You don't have to read 24. You don't. Just read it once and that's it. You don't need to read it again if you already know what's going to happen. You don't. <laughs> okay, this is longer than it's supposed to be, so I'm going to end it here. I got I got sidetracked. But uh, I can't help it, man. I'm, we're, we're, um, we're dry on juice here, man. No information has been leaked about this. It's sealed tight. So, yeah. I'm going to here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Because I like doing them. Especially the most of the ones. So, if you do like what I do. And love my content. Like, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell icon. This has been Macron on Anime. Signing out.